at some point, you know, some vitamins and things like that. So anyway, um, can you imagine what it's like to let everything go to hell? To let things get so dirty and not beat up on yourself and just be willing to let it be. I think maybe most of you cannot imagine that. Um, but if you can do it, what you're going to find is your outer environment becomes a true reflection of what's within. Because you're letting it be that. You're just letting it be. Only then can you begin to see and get a grip on what's really inside of you. And you just observe at this point. You just watch. You don't do anything. And you're learning not to judge and condemn. Uh, you're learning to love yourself and to be kind to yourself and to just let yourself be and have some worth not for doing but for being. That was one of the biggest things I wanted to say. Uh, and then what I would notice is that as I was doing the various things that would come to me for cleansing or for healing or for praying, you know, or or sometimes just for, I think, cosmic radiation coming in, uh, I would notice what I was doing. All of a sudden, I would have this surge of wanting to do dishes, wanting to sweep the floor, um, wanting the, the windshields on my car to be sparkling clean. And what, I, what you're seeing in that is you're seeing a reflection of internal cleansing going on when you're wanting your windows and so on to be clean, well, your windows uh, can be like your chakras. It's where energy flows through. And this, this you, you see reflected in the outside what's going on on the inside. Now, just yesterday, one of the things I, I think I've told you is that I don't leave the house. I go out maybe once every couple months or so. And I do uh, reasonable shopping. Remember, I don't eat a lot, so it's it's not all that difficult. And uh, then I stay here until I need to do it again. Where was I going with that? So I'm here a lot. Uh, I lost my train of thought there. Oh, one of the other things is that I don't pay attention to mail. Um, over time, you know, <laughs> forgetting to pay and, and having all the consequences that come with that, I eventually got my uh, bill payments set up automatically to come out of my accounts. And so I, I just don't open the mail. I, I really don't look at it. Um, and I throw away the commercial stuff and the rest of it I just throw unopened on this big kitchen table. And it's been that way for like a year or two maybe, I don't know. Uh, and all of a sudden yesterday, out of nowhere, I was standing there and it was so beautiful and it was so easy to just sort and organize everything and throw away a whole bunch of stuff and open some stuff and pitch it and, and it just happened. And I was kind of like watching it happen and saying, oh my God, you know, I tried to force myself into this again and again and again. And, you know, it never worked because it was the mind doing it. But when you're, you're letting yourself be lived from the inside, as we focus in heart, you find yourself just doing things. Um, I call this living with integrity. Um, thank God I don't live with anybody you know, because they they would feel the burden of, of having to keep the place clean and all that kind of stuff. Thank God I'm in a situation where I was totally free to sit under my bow tree and say, life, go to hell. I mean, I bathed once a week, people. I'm not kidding you. I just didn't care about crap. Uh, and I learned how to be okay in the middle of that. I learned that it, it, it was just unimportant. And having the focus on the exterior life was not where it's at. wasn't where I was going. And so, I guess two things. Learning, learning to love yourself is one. And then learning to let go of 
the mind being your jailer and your boss and your keeper and listening to everything the mind says and being driven around by it you know that's a big thing to disconnect and divorce from the mind that's that's maybe the biggest thing so hopefully this will be beneficial for someone I sure hope so all this rattling on God bless you guys bye bye